how are you? Hi, teacher. Hey, hi. How you been today? Uh -huh. Okay, who's like uh, making noise? I don't know. <laughs> That's great. Hey, how's your day going so far, guys? Is it better than yesterday? Do you have more energy? Yes? It was tired than yesterday. It was tired than yesterday. Hey, you see? Caesar says, yes, I do have this one. Yeah, <laughs> I can get energy. Yes. All right. Why is this harder than yesterday, Marlon? What happened? Because we are preparing for preparing? The, preparing for the season of the high um, cells. For uh, you're preparing for the high cell season. Season high cell season. Mm -hmm. So we are making some preparatives in our systems mm -hmm. to be to be ready when the season it's when the season came. It to uh, uh, pre uh, preparatives in the season or updatings in the system? Um, it depends. Uh -huh. Some software need to needs have, to uh, needs to to have a better uh, requirements mm -hmm. than now because because the consumption of of resource of the software is mm -hmm. not the same now that in a high season. Mm -hmm. So yes, I understand that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are preparing it. Yep. Ooh, so there's a lot of work to do. Yes. I can't imagine them. Yeah. Thanks God I'm not an IT. <laughs> some some things about the update of software or upgrade in the system mm -hmm. and other things like that. Oh my goodness. It seems it 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 seems and it sounds a little bit complicated. A little bit complicated. Yeah. Oh my god. But you know what? You're here. Yeah, yeah, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy to no, see all too. of you. Yeah, especially the two a uh, couple. And I'm not talking about Georgie and Carlos. No, no, no. Okay, but this is the only couple we have here. Yeah, yeah. I miss them a lot, but I know what what happened. So don't worry. But you're here, and I'm so happy about it. Yay! Uh -huh. Yeah, we miss you too, guys. Uh huh. Where is Georgie? Where is Carlitos? They're watching TV, another movie, man. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, no, no, don't worry about it. I'm just teasing you. I'm joking with you, okay? I'm teasing you. Very good. Okay, I do have a Idalia here also. Grecia, I love your smile. Patti, Maria Luisa. Betsabe, you're wearing your work outfit. All right, very good. We have Ricardo, we have Cesar here, Mr. Wilfredo. Hey, Francisco. And also we do have here Flori, Ed Nielsen. Oh my God, we had a lot of people here. That's amazing. Hermes, also we have you here. Now that's great. Excellent. Uh, uh, uh. Today, guys, we're going to do a lot of things. Okay. But uh, I think we're going to develop the listening part okay and also the reading part this is really important we have no work on those skills and we have to work on those skills all right uh but first of all uh i just want to know guys if you have gone uh, to the mirror term section on the platform right now have you done the, those that activity yet no yes or no 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 okay Okay, what I'm going to do right now, because I don't have to forget that, that is really important. I'm not going to give you the answers. No way. Uh -huh. No, Wilfredo, I'm not going to give you the answers <laughs> for the mirror turn. I'm just teasing you. But what I'm going to do, guys, is to explain it to you how you're going to do that. Okay? And if you have any doubts, I'm here to clarify them. Okay? Because basically, guys, that section that you you will see it after section three that calls midterm exam especially evaluates the four skills writing or rewriting listening well the three skill because you don't speak right and reading mm -hmm. okay and also comprehension okay so basically i will go into that right now 
And if you have any questions while we are double checking, just let me know, okay? Right, cool. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me search that information really quickly. There you go. Let me check. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. That's what I need. Mm -hmm. Let me check if this one is. Yes. Okay. I'm checking if it's your section because uh, I already have finished with another group and I don't want to confuse you. Okay. So I need to make sure that everything is clear and we're on the same page. You know what on the same page means? You know what that means, guys? We are on the same page. That expression? Exactly. Yes. Literally, 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 yes, Marla. We're on the same page. Literally, that means on the same on the misma página. But what it means is that everybody knows what's going on. Okay. Every everybody understand. Every are in, in the same place in the same topic, right? In, understand everything. Estamos como en la jugada, everybody, right? Like that. That is what it means on the same page. Okay, so, uh, 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 uh -huh. yes, Carlito, on the same page, on the same page. Georgie, I love your husband hair. I wish I could have that hair. Oh my goodness. And I don't have to iron it. Oh so my goodness, that's great. Okay, let me check. Uh, 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 there you go. Okay, let me share right now. Just let me know as soon as, as, soon as you're able to see my screen, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. Can you okay. see it on my screen, guys? Yeah? Okay, cool. Okay, the first thing that you're going to check on the mirror term is basically uh, the section A. This is the listening part. And you're going to listen, guys, four things, different things, okay? It's not the same. It's not going to be the same. So basically, you have to listen carefully, and after listening carefully, you need to click the... No se ve bien la imagen. No? No. Eh, only you, Pati? No, no se I don't know. I can't see clear, girl. I can't see you cannot, clear. You cannot see clear. Okay, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. You it cannot see clear. Not okay. clear, teacher. Okay, not clear. Bear with me. Don't worry about that. Woohoo. Okay, let me see if I can... Take part of that so you can check it out a little bit. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe here. Okay, let me see if I can take one. I will take just one example because I cannot, I cannot uh, check it on the old example, but I can give it to you an example about that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check if this is now you will be able to see it. Okay, there you go. Hopefully you can see this one right now. Is it much better? Bear with me. Is it much better, guys? Yes. Yes? Yes, I can. Now, can you see it? Can everybody see it? Yes or no? No. No? No. You cannot see it. No, teacher. Oh, my goodness. So I think maybe the problem is your internet. That might be. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can put it again on the other one. Because it's really weird that you cannot see it, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm like, no way. Let me check. Can you see it now? What about now? Hello, hello. What about hello. now? Can you see it? Hey, no, teacher. No. A little no? bit. A little bit. So I think the other one was much better, right? Yes. Okay. So let me go back to the other one. I'm going to explain it to you that one. It's really weird. Maybe it's the internet connection that you might have right now because it's supposed to see it. There you go. Okay. So let me share it right now. Okay. Let me go there. Yeah. Okay. Now this one, can you see this one right now? Yes. Hello. Can you see it? Yes. You we cannot, cannot send, send an image in the group. 
Uh, yes, I, I think I will send it right now. Yes, I will send it right now because it's really weird that you cannot see it. Bear with me. Okay, I'm going to send it to you all the sections and then we're going to discuss it, okay? So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Uh, you're not going to, to to watch me, okay? But I will I will be working, okay? So if you feel free to ask anything, I'm, I'll be here. Okay, bear with me. Let me send right now the information. It's really weird. You cannot see it. Okay. Hey, somebody sent it. Wilfredo, you sent it, but it's really weird. Okay. First part. First part of a midterm section. Okay. Okay, I, I sent it to you the first part right now. Do you receive it? Did you receive it? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay, guys. Yes. Okay, that section is the first part of the mirror term. You're going to find it after you click on the, on the last part of section three in the platform. And basically, guys, this is a listening activity. You're going to listen for conversations, okay? And for each conversation, you will have three possible answers. So what you have to do is to click on the one that you consider that is correct. Teacher, how many times I can do this listening? You can do it as many times as you want to, okay? As long as, uh, once you get all the answers correct, you can move to the second part. Is it clear right now? Is it clear? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. All right, let me send it to you right now, the second part that I wanted to. Okay. Okay, there you go. Let me, send, let me give you this one right now. Okay, the section B, guys, actually, uh, do you remember that in, uh, in the Kahoo uh, game, we did something like this. We put the sentence in the incorrect order and basically, what you have to do is to put it in correct order. Is that correct? Do you remember that? Si, se acuerdan de eso? Que yes, pusimos teacher. en desorden? Yeah. So basically, the section B, guys, you have, I think you will have, let me let you know how many, how many sentences you will have. You have three, three sentences. You see, guys, that is, there are some words in parentheses, see? ¿sí? Están en parentheses, next to the number, ¿es correcto? And they're divided into slashes. Están divididos por, por plecas. So, guys, you have the words in this order, and you have to put it in order. Tienen que ponerle en orden. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or, or eight, depends, options, to put it in the correct order, ¿sí? Usted tiene que seleccionar la que crea que es conveniente, o la que crea que es mejor. Remember, guys, remember. We use capital letters for name of the city. We use period at the end of the sentence, right? See? Okay. And if the verb to be it is a sentence, the verb to be has to be in lower cases, in minuscula, no in mayuscula, no capital letter. Okay? Estamos bien hasta ahí? Any question, guys? No, we're good right now? Can, can I move on? Hello, can I move on? Yes or no? Yes, you can. Okay, yes. that's what I want. Energy, come on. All right. Okay, in section three, guys, this one, all that you gotta do is to circle the correct word. This is what you have to do. You have one phrase, okay? You, you have a one part of the sentence that is missing, okay? And you need to put the right of this one. For example, the first one. New York City is very exciting, but it's... Do you remember, guys, that we saw these conjunctions? And, but, remember that? However, and although. Do you remember that, guys? Yes. Okay, so this is what you have to do. Remember, with N, we use it with two positive ideas or two negative ideas. Remember that, right? You have to remember that. So basically, this is what you are going to do. Click on the one that you consider that is um, the right one. Then, guys, on section D, 
we have to complete the sentences with mother verse. We have, remember that we have seen can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Remember that? I'm going to send it to you right now, just for you to have it here, an idea. And basically, guys, what you have to do is to complete the sentences with either should, shouldn't, or can, or can't. Okay, that is exactly what you have to do. Are we clear right now? So far, so good? Is it busy quizzing? Yes. Okay, very good. The part letter E, as in echo, this is we're talking about health problems. Health problems that we have seen so far. And what we have to do is to combine the problem with the advice. Okay, so you see the problem, for example, a fever. Okay, so for fever, what I should do? I should use a heading pad. I should see a dentist. I should take some aspirin. Or I should try this lotion, for example, right? So you need to click on the advice that you consider that is better for the health problem. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That is the one that I have sent you right now. Section E as in echo. Can I, can I move on? Yes. All right. On yes. letter F, we continue, guys. We continue with health problems. But this time, we're going to talk about medications. Do you remember that we talk about muscle screen, right? Aspirin, syrup, etc. Each medication has a different container. You know what container is? Yes or no? Hello? Do you know what a container is? Container, no. Container es contenedor. Por, o, o, por ejemplo, el envase en que viene esa medication, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, el jarabe viene en un tarrito? Frasco. Viene en un frasco? Okay. Exactly. That calls in, in English, guys, jar. Jar is un frasco. Pero ¿qué tal el muscle cream? La, la crema para masajear el músculo. ¿En dónde viene? ¿En qué viene? En un tubito. En un tubo. So that means that is a tube. Tube in English, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. For example, the cough drops, los dulcitos para la tos. ¿En qué vienen? Vaga. Bolsa. Puede ser en bag o puede ser en paquete, ¿no? Pack. Pack. Exactly. Entonces, this is what you're going to do, guys. In the section F, you have the, the medication, but also, guys, you have that container. So you have to select which is the container that we are talking about. For example, um, if you're talking about vitamin C, you can have a jar of vitamin C, a bottle, a pack, or a tube. For example, you need to select which one you consider that is the right one, okay? See, ¿Sí? ¿me entienden lo que van a hacer ahí? Yes. And this is the one that I have sent you right now, letter F, as in Fox Ray. And let me check the last one, because this midterm for you guys has a lot of parts. It has from A to G, as in good. And the last part is the reading comprehension. This reading comprehension, actually, uh, it is basically, you have to click, you, after the reading part, you have only one question. Only one question, but you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine possible answers for only one question. And what you have to do, you need to click or check on the four things that people suggest the writer should do, okay? According to the article, you have to click on the four things, only four things. So you have five, no, you have nine answers, and you have to click only four of nine, okay? So basically, guys, in this article, you need to read it carefully, okay? For these, carefully, because this article is a, is a little bit hard. It is different from the one that you are used to, this article uh, requires more concentration, okay? More concentration. Let me send it to you, the article right now. Bear with me. Let me see if I can have it here. Oh, I should not. Let me check. 
Maybe, yeah. Let me see if I can have it. Mm. Okay, there you go. Well, I'm not, I'm not able to send it to you. I wish I could send it to you, but I'm not able to. But uh, when, when you get into the platform, you will see it. You will see the article. Okay. So basically, guys, this is what you have to do. You have to read it carefully. Because if not, uh, you can make a mistake. Okay. I sent you the article. Hopefully, you can pop it up. I try to make it a, a, a little one, a short article. Okay, but basically this is the article. After reading the article, you will have nine possible answers. Guys, let me give you some, uh, some advice in the article section, just for you to understand a little bit much better. First guys, before reading the article, try to read on the platform the nine options that you have. Lea las nueve, las nueve opciones que tú tienes, the nine options that you have. Por qué? Porque you already have in your mind, tendrás en tu cabeza, what is exactly you, you need to look for. ¿Cuál es lo que tú tienes que, que, que enfocarte en el reading? Okay. After that, después de eso, go uh, paragraph by paragraph. Ve par, par, párrafo por párrafo. Y busca las palabras que you don't understand. Search for the words that you don't know what doesn't mean. Okay. Search for the word that you don't know what doesn't mean. After you search for the words that you don't know what doesn't mean, you, now you will know what doesn't mean, right? You will have the idea. So when you read the paragraph, when you start reading the paragraph, you will have the meaning already in your head and you will understand much better what that paragraph is talking about, okay? And you read completely the paragraph, okay? And then if you do not understand it, Read it again. And if you do not understand it, read it once again. And if you do not understand it, read for the fourth or the fifth time. Okay. And after that, my best recommendation to read the article five times. That would be my best recommendation for the first time. Okay. And for weeks, uh, weeks coming weeks, well, let's. Me, semanas que viene, le voy a poner articles más complicados. Okay? Why? Because we are practicing reading comprehension. Reading is not just reading, guys. Reads has a techniques. Tienen técnicas. Okay? The advice that I'm giving you, el consejo que yo les doy, son técnicas. Para poder cacharla bien. If you practice that, usted lo va a hacer así. ¿ve? And it's really important. Because sometimes you have um, time to do something. A veces tienen tiempo para hacer las cosas. Y usted tiene que cacharla así, ¿ve? So you're going to learn how to do that, ¿sí? Con time. ¿Sí? Después de que you read the article, then you answer. Después usted responde, ¿ok? Am I make myself clear? He hecho a mi, a mi persona clara. ¿Me he explicado bien? Carlitos, yes. I, I have a weak question mark. Carlitos, do you have any questions? ¿Tienes alguna pregunta que te veo como un interrogante like this? No, no, no. It's okay, no? teacher. Is that yes. okay? Uh, Edenilson, yes. Yes, Georgie. Este, de para, del artículo será borroso, teacher. Ah, okay. O sea, pero lo vas a ver mejor cuando you get into the platform. Cuando veas el platform. Ah, okay. Allí lo vas a ver mejor. Okay. You have nine answers. Solo tienes, solo tienes, ni siquiera es pregunta. Tienes nueve opciones. Pero de esas nueve opciones, solo cuatro son buenas. So that's why you need to read it carefully. ¿Sí? Dice una pregunta. Yes, Grecia. Este, no escuché bien al inicio. Todo esto está en la plataforma y debemos hacerlo ahorita. No, no right now, no right now. What I'm doing right now, Grecia, what, eh, lo que estoy haciendo ahorita is explaining to you, explicándote qué es lo que se espera que hagas en each section, en cada sección. Saben que usualmente solamente son eh, de la A a la, a la C o de la A a la D, pero ustedes, you are in mere term, you are in pre-intermediate pre three, so por eso ustedes son de la A a la G. 
porque tienen que desarrollar más. You need to work oh, harder. Mm -hmm. Yes, Herman, yeah, I know that. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But you have, you have to. Okay, thank you. ¿Sí? My pleasure. Okay. Entonces, eso es lo que tienen que hacer. Okay. Aún si ustedes, doing that, you have questions, tienen questions, so there's a teacher, pero mire, le he hecho una y otra y otra y otra, and still have bad, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Remember, try to use comas. Period at the end of the sentence. That means punctuation is really important in English, okay? Remember to put capital letter for proper name, for name of country, etc. All right? Remember to use a comma when you have to use a comma. And also remember about the question mark. Sí, la, el signo de interrogación, the exclamation mark, signo de admiración. Never forget that. And, and also, remember, do darle doble clic entre cada frase. Right? Y remember, cuando usted hable de usted, hay, siempre va a ir en mayúscula. Hay. Nunca me voy a poner con I minúscula porque me, me da un ataque. Ok. Have a heart attack, a grammar heart attack. Sí. Yes. Hey, okay. teacher. Yes. Uh, Patty, go ahead, Patty. Uh, um, yo tuve problemas uh, a la primera semana en la plataforma. Mm -hmm. Tuve problemas para poder enviar las, las tareas de la plataforma. Realmente okay. las estaba contestando bien. De hecho, hasta pedí copia para Ajá. que me las corrigieran. Ajá. Y cómo se llama. Y sí las estaba enviando bien. Las revisé despacito, como se dice, palabra por palabra. Las iba escribiendo y todo. Y sí tuve problemas para poder que me aceptara las respuestas. De hecho, hasta el día de ahora, incluso hablé con el técnico. Sí, con Jonathan, porque, ya. Ajá, porque realmente no me aceptaba. Entonces, a veces, y eso en los otros módulos ha sucedido, que a veces el sistema como que se satura. Y a veces uno que se pone a una hora determinada que tiene tiempo a hacer la plataforma y ya cuando no quiere enviar las respuestas, a veces quizás el sistema está muy saturado y no las acepta. Okay, okay, Patty, that is a different. Okay, si en ese caso you have problems, you have technical problems, como Marlon te puede saber, ese es otro issue. Okay, no es que tú estés haciendo algo mal, sino que something is wrong. En ese caso, you communicate with Jonathan, okay? Or with the technical department, or just let me know, ¿sí? O me hace saber a mí, all right? And then I will send that information, you know, this guy or this girl, everything is, we already check, everything is okay. We put punctuation, we check the spaces, we capital letters, etc. right? And everything is okay. So this is not a grammar problem. This is technical problem. Eso es otra cosa. And then we can send that information and they can help you, okay? Pero muy bien, Pati. Eso sí, eso es otra cosa. Eso es un problema. Es un problema técnico que we need to resolve. Puede ser problema técnico de la plataforma en sí, o puede ser problema tuyo específico, de tu ID, de tu cuentita. ¿Sí? ¿Me entiendes? No. Entonces, we need to find out what's happening. ¿Sí? ¿Tienes, ¿Sigues teniendo el mismo problema, Patti? Eh, realmente no. Okay, eh, hasta, mañana, hasta el fin de semana que trabaje completamente ya en la plataforma hasta llegar okay. al medio examen, mm -hmm. es que yo voy a... Pero sí, la primera semana de la semana pasada, uh -huh. eh, estaba queriendo enviar una de, de las tareas, de, para ser sincera, la 1.7, uh -huh. y estuve luchando para que me la aceptara, pero uh -huh. ahora sí ya. It, it works, ok. So, yeah, if, oh, if sí. you continue uh, uh, with that situation, let me know, so I can send that information to the t IT department, or if you can contact them directly, also you can do it, ok? Hopefully okay. you don't have that problem, hopefully not. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Patty. Or guys, if you're doing that activity or those activities, and if we have problems, let me know, okay? I'll be more than glad to help you. I'm not going to give you the answer, <laughs> no. But I can guide you, okay? Well, I can make you like a refresh, okay? I can help you, all right? Okay. Very good. Any questions, guys? Any doubts? Uh, Wilfredo, uh, yes. Question, yes. Who said Ricardo, Wilfredo? Who's talking right now? Ricardo. Ah, Ricardo. Okay, no. Ricardo. Go ahead, Ricardo. Ah, okay, Ricardo, go ahead. Oh, okay, thank you. 
Okay. Very good. Uh, this part, this part is like uh, 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 a similar to the when you send the by me email the test. Cuando mm -hmm. uno ubicar en el Yes. I I a little confused because because you send me this part all all of them uh, by me by email. Mm -hmm. What I don't yeah. understand your question. Would you like me to send it to you? What happened? Ricardo, what I I, I did not understand. No te entendí. Okay. <laughs> yes. You can say it in Spanish, that's okay for me. Okay. I understand Entonces, Spanish. Entonces, que... <laughs> Entonces, estos eh, ejercicios eh, van a ser enviados a mi correo y allí lo voy a contestar. No. La plataforma. Tienes que ir a la plataforma. You need to go, you need to have access to the platform. ¿Sí? ¿Te acuerdas okay, que, okay. que tiene, ustedes tienen su propio usuario y contraseña? Remember that? You should have. Yeah, yeah, ¿Sí? Yeah. Entonces, tú, tú accesas a la plataforma. You get access to the platform. Y después de la sección 3, está el Multurn, que está evaluando lo que yo les acabo de mandar por WhatsApp. ¿Sí? Entonces, tú yeah. lo haces. ¿Sí? Y, y prácticamente okay. haces lo que te acabo de explicar, son de la A a la G, from A to G, right? And you follow right. the instructions. Follow the instructions, please, por favor, follow the instructions, read the instructions. Lean las instrucciones. And you will not have any okay. problems. Y no tendrán problemas. Okay, okay. Lo siento, Thank sí, I'm my pleasure, Ricardo. I'm saying Spanish and English, okay, I'm sorry. No sé por qué tengo la costumbre de traducir, I don't know why. Uh -huh. Um, maybe because of the kind of job that I was working in. Imagínense, tenía que hablar en tres idiomas. That's, oof. Yes, I'm sorry. Igual que la platform, si ustedes se fijan, las instrucciones es en English, and then you have it in Spanish, right? <laughs> so that's why I'm sorry for that. Okay, Wilfredo, what about you? Uh, what is your question, sir? Okay, um, I, I, I know uh, the first part of the where is this uh, uh, mm -hmm. the platform? Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but you uh, explained to Ricardo it's in the after section three. Mm -hmm. And right now uh, I am here. So, yeah. so you saw it already? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so did I answer your question already? For, for the partners. Uh -huh. For the classmates. For everyone, I, I, I show the, my, my screen. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Very good. Exactly. There you go. That's the one. Mm -hmm. So you click on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is what we, we, this is what I have sent it to you right now, guys. I didn't send you the whole picture. I just sent you part of them, but you have an idea of what is going on, okay? Very good. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. All righty. Okay, guys, are we clear right now? Can we move on? Yes? Any questions? Algunas questions? No? No, we're good? Una pregunta para teacher. I knew it. Go ahead, my girl. Este, cuando por alguna razón no me puedo conectar a la clase, mm -hmm. ¿dónde puedo ver el video o la grabación? Oh, do you remember who is asking me? Patty, right? Okay. María Luisa. María Luisa, do you remember that when you received the, the email for confirmation of the model, uh, do you have a, a link to the URL, to the URL de YouTube? You know that? Do you remember that? ¿Te recuerdas de eso? ¿O no? No, yo no hice la consulta. Ah, oh, but you should put your teacher, uh, Idalia. No, uh, I, no te mandaron un email, ¿no? Al correo. Mm -hmm. 
de YouTube? No. No, no, no. De, de Gmail. No. ¿Qué donde te dice las especific especificaciones del, del uh, módulo? No. ¿No te mandaron eso? No, teacher. Ok. No worry about that. So, let me check. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send right now the URL. URL. Ok. Ok. I sent it already. Oh, Wilfredo sent it. Wilfredo, come on. It's, it's because Wilfredo is my right hand. That's the reason why. Uh -huh. okay. Frank say, ok. Este Wilfredo no espera hasta que la teacher hace. No, él quiere hacerlo. Come on. <laughs> You're welcome, Idalia. <laughs> All righty. Ok. Wilfred already sent it to you, ok? Ya se me adelantó este chamaco. Hey, chamaco, right? I love that word, chamaco. Chamaco. Aunque ya está viejito, pero es chamaco, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Huh? 45? <laughs> no. No, but you don't look like 44. Yeah, you look uh, younger. I, I you look like 30 something. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I want to be like that when I w when I become 30 40 44 years old. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys. So we're going to practice today the listening part, okay? It's really important to develop that. First, I'm going to share right now with you the answers. But the positive, not the answer itself, the option that you have, okay? Then I'm going to share with you the audio. And then I'm going to share with you the possible answers with the audio, okay? So we're going to practice right now. <laughs> Bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, a quien le está cayendo cada mensaje a cada rato? My goodness. Woo -hoo. ¿A quién es? ¿Quién será? Who is it? Promise, guys, I'm not going to speak more Spanish because we're not supposed to speak Spanish. <laughs> I'm just speaking Spanish for a few things, just for you understand really important things, but I don't like to speak Spanish. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right, can you see it right now, my screen, guys? Can you see it? Is it, is it better right now or no? Is it better? Hello, yeah. I can you, see it. You can or you can't? I can. You can, okay. Okay, okay guys. So we have one, two, three, four. Four questions. Well, I didn't put it up the questions <laughs> because of a reason, but with two possible answers for each one. Georgie, do me a favor. For number one, can you please read the two options for us? Okay. The men's feet are sore. Okay. Uh, the, men's, the men's feet are itchy. 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 You don't know pronounce the T, no pronounce the T. Itchy. 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 Okay. Itchy. Very good. Le pican. See? ¿Sí? Itchy. Picazón. Number two, Wilfredo, please. The woman can't eat. Mm -hmm. The woman has an upset stomach. Upset stomach. Upset stomach. Upset is, upset is alguien enojado. O cuando usted dice upset stomach, quiere decir un estómago irritado. Right? Okay. Number three, uh, Ricardo, please. Number three for me. Mr. Ricardo, I cannot hear you. Sorry. Uh -uh. I think something happens with your uh, internet, maybe. Oops. Can you listen to him? Ooh. No, something something happens. Don't worry, Ricardo. Maybe later you can you can help us. Eh, what about you, number three? Oh my goodness, sounds like a robot. Okay. You can or you can't? I can't. 
Oh, I you can't. can't. Uh, what about you, Patty? Hello? Yes, Patty, can you please read number three? Yes. The man has difficulty sleeping. Uh, mm -hmm. The man is sleeping too much. Very good. And can you please help me read the last one? Uh, Hermes. Mr. Hermes, okay. number four. Go number ahead. Four, the, the woman born in her hand. Uh huh. The woman has a bad sunburn. Exactly. The woman burned her hand. Se quemó la mano. The woman has a bad sunburn. Tiene eh, mal eh, cuando, por ejemplo, alguien se quema por el sol. It's a sunburn. ¿Sí? Cuando alguien se quema cocinando, is burned. ¿Sí? Ok. Is it clear right now, guys? Very good. Ok, so you already have the idea what could be the possible answer for these four scenarios. Ok. Now yeah, you have the information in your head. Now let's listen. Let's practice the listening skill. I'm going to share with you the listening part, only the listening part, okay? So pay attention to the listening part. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. I'm going to start the part that I needed. There you go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, tell me if you can listen, okay? If you cannot listen, let me know as well. Can or you can't? Yeah. You can't. Don't worry, I will let you know. There you go. Don't worry, I will let you know. Bear with me. Okay. I think you will be able to listen. Bear with me for a couple of minutes more. Listen to four people you talk listen? to a pharmacist. Yes? yes. yes. Okay, cool. This is problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Go on. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomachache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Okay. Is it easy? Yes, right? Okay. Yes. I knew it is easy, easy for you. Okay, now guys, we're going to listen again, but now you will be able to listen and at the same time read, okay? That is hard because you, it's not as simple as it seems. No es tan simple como se ve. 
Sometimes you are focusing on reading que se le olvidó lo que dijo la persona. Right? And sometimes you're just listening que se le olvidó cuál era la, 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 la correct information, la correct answer. So we need to develop to be multitasking. Para hacer multitasking, hacer como muchas cosas al mismo tiempo. If you work in a call center, you have to be a multitasker. Tienes que hacer muchas cosas al mismo tiempo. All right? So we need to develop the reading and at the same time listening. ¿Sí? Imagínense, usted oye a, a su, um, al client decir una cosa y otra cosa, y usted en ese momento está buscando la, el archivo, la información del cliente, and you're listening to the client, ¿ok? Entonces, usted tiene que hacer eso. Eso es, un, es como un tip que les vamos a dar. Aunque usted no trabaje en call center, pero le va a ayudar un montón. ¿Ok? So let's practice the reading and the listening part at the same time. ¿Ok, guys? ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. All righty. Very good. Mm -hmm. Ok. Let me put it a little bit back. Uh, all righty. Ok, now I'm going to share the reading part with the listening part. Ok, let me take it. Can you see it, guys? Yes, right? Or no? Can you see it, guys? ¿Lo ven? No. No. What, ab no. what about now? Check each person's problem. Right now. One. Can you right see now, it? Yes. Okay. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Okay, guys, so tell me, what is the answer for the first one? What is exactly the, the problem of the, of the person? The method are number one sore. auction. So what is the number one auction? Can you please read it for me? The, the man's feet are sore. The man's feet are sore. Very good, excellent, that's right. What about number two? The woman has a the upset stomach. The woman has an upset stomach. stomach. Remember, no hay una e aquí. So no es a stomach. It's stomach. Stomach. All right, very good. Es una de las que más cuesta, pero you can do it. Okay, so we'll be in two. Okay, what about number three? What's the problem? The man has to Difficultly sleeping. Okay, the man has difficulty sleeping. Very good, excellent. And the last one? Uh, the woman burned. The woman burned. The woman burned. Burned it. Burned it. Burned it. Burned, 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 burned it. All right, very good. So let's practice the pronunciation. The man's feet are sore. The man's feet are sore. Feet are sore. No, sore, no, sore. Very good. The man's feet are itchy. The man's feet are itchy. Very good. The woman can't eat. The woman can't eat. 
Now, together, the woman can it. The woman, the woman, the woman can, can it. it. Very good. The woman has an abscess stomach. The woman has, has, has an abscess stomach. stomach. Has an abscess stomach. Has an abscess stomach. Has an abscess stomach. Has an abscess stomach. If you if you see guys, we join this and we join this. Has an abscess. Has an abscess stomach. Very good, excellent. The man has a difficulty sleeping. The man has a difficulty sleeping. Yeah, the man is sleeping too much. Too much. Not too much. Oigan bien. How many O's you have here? Two. 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 So the pronunciation has to be a little longer. Si usted tiene una O es two. Si usted tiene dos O's es two. Two. That man is sleeping too much. Too much. Too much. Very good. The woman burning her hand. The woman, the woman burning her, 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 her hand. The woman has a bad sunburn. The woman has, woman a, has a bad sunburn. Very good. Excellent. You see, we're practicing, guys, reading, and at the same time, we're practicing listening. Okay. Do you like this activity? Yes. It was really yes. interesting, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, I know. You see? More dynamic. It, yes, exactly. And you see guys, that the first time we saw the possible answer, right? We practiced the reading. The second one, we listened. And the third time, we compare the two, reading and listening. Okay? So we're developing these two skills. We're going to continue developing the reading and skill. But not for today, because to be honest with you, only three minutes to finish the class. But this is what I'm going to do. Do you remember, guys, that I'm going to say uh, that we're going to start reading some article that will be a little bit difficult or more difficult? Okay. Do you remember that? Okay. So basically, I'm going to send you an article. Okay. I'm going to send it to you an article that is going to be more difficult than the one that we have seen up to right now. Okay. And I'm going to give you tips. Okay, tips, tips or advice. Okay, tips or advice. First, look at the title. Vea el título. Look at the title or the headed. See, ¿Sí? o el encabezado. Second of all, look at the pictures. Va a haber pictures a la par. Okay, so you will have an idea más o menos de qué puede tratar. Okay, for example, the picture shows people from one country, people from different countries, people from doing the same activity or doing different activity, people from same ages, mismas edades, or different ages, diferentes edades. Aha, uh, uh -huh. very good. Then, después, check each paragraph, which country it is talking about, de qué country está hablando, de qué país. Number four, Search, busque, you can highlight, usted puede resaltar, or you can underline, usted puede delinear o, o, o subrayar. subrayar. Thank you so much. Gracias, Wilfredo. He, you see, he's my right hand, yes, in Spanish, of course. Thank you. Very good. Okay, the words that you don't know, what does it mean? Las palabras que are brand new for you, okay? Once you have it already, search in the dictionary. You can write it down on the, on the article, or you can have a piece of paper or a notebook, put the word and put what does it mean in Spanish. When you already know the meaning, then it's your time to start reading. Read. Read because you already have the meaning of the words here. Okay? Try to read. And after that, I want you guys to please try to understand it. Because on Monday, I'm going to ask you Six questions, six specific questions about that article, six. Okay, and you need to understand what you're talking about. You need to understand what is the article about, okay? We're going guys 
to work on asking a specific information. You know what that means? That calls in English or uh, a skimming. A scanning is like to quick review, like whoops, right? Like a general idea. That is the first thing that you're going to do. But a skimming is I'm asking you for one thing in particular, and you're not going to read the entire article. You need to go straight to the point and give me the answer for my question. That is a skimming. Okay, so we are going to practice that as well. Okay? So please read the article. That will help you a lot, guys. That will help you a lot, not only in English. Also will help you basically with your daily basic, con su, con su daily routine, see? Because every day, guys, you need to read something, right? Related to your job, right? Uh, or for accounting, for IT, for sports, for example. You need to read it. And sometimes you don't have enough time to read it. So th these techniques that we're uh, learning right now, it will help you also to do your job more efficiently and faster way, okay? Because sometimes you have time, yes? They send you reports, they send you like this and this, and you say, okay, you have to let me know the answer today after around 5 p.m. Or you have to let, or you have one hour to give me any feedback or any suggestion about this project, for example. So you need to develop the reading skill, okay? And next week is going to be harder, okay? It will be different topic. And we're going to go from the simple to the hardest one. Not the hardest, hardest, okay? Because I'm not going to send you about astronomy or about a neurology or about a biology or about a, I don't know, a anthropologies, right? Or loss, of course not. I'm not going to send that, those kind of articles. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. No, that, that, would be a, that would be harder. That's harder. Uh, but I'm going to send it to you an uh, article that it will help you a lot because you will increase, guys. You will increase your vocabulary. If you have more words, you will be able to communicate better or better, okay? And that's what I want, that you have more vocabulary so you can express yourself better and in a different way, okay? Y como dicen, a parpallar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. You see, that's part of the process. I told you, I will help you and I will help you. That's why I'm here. That's why we are here as English Corporativo to help you develop your skill and to improve in the skill that you need to do your job better. Okay. Okay. Any questions, any doubts, feel free. I'll be more than glad to help you. Any questions right now? Yes. No, teacher. Hable ahora o calle para siempre. No? Oh my God. Yes, Marlon, I knew it. I don't know. I was expecting your question. Go ahead. About the midterm in the platform. Uh -huh. because yes. Because it was seen that there are some previous activities mm -hmm. in the, of the midterm. Mm -hmm. So we need to do it, uh, this, those activities previous. To the it, will, the... it will be like a good idea for you to practice. Okay. Because those activities, if, if you, you can do it right now, the major, because everything that the major will going to, is going to evaluate, we already have seen it in class. So you have the tools. You already okay. have the knowledge. But you can do it by yourself. That is small activities that the section three has it, because it will help you to practice. To practice when you go to that section of the mirror term. Okay, I will mm -hmm. try to complete it. Yeah, thank you. We'll so we'll be so happy because you need to have a great, a better grade, right? And don't worry, guys. If the first time you didn't have like the grade that you were expecting to, you got like a six, right? Like, oh, or seven or eight. Don't worry. You can do it again until you get the score that you want. Okay. Okay, guys. So it was a pleasure to have you. I wish you a great night, a great meal, an excellent weekend, and please take care of yourself, okay? Be safe, because I want to see all of you on Monday, please. 
All right. So hugs hey. and kisses. To you. Bye. 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 Bye.